This question, we have a student designing an experiment to determine the acceleration of a car as it rolls down a small incline after it's released from rest. So let's draw the incline. So we have the car. We know its initial velocity is zero. We want to know the acceleration. Now, of course, we might be thinking that like we could measure the distance And that would be x. And if it's released from rest, this term drops out. And if we make this 0 and this the final position, that drops out. So we're left with x equals 1 half a t squared. So it might stand to reason that if we had the length and we measured the time, we could calculate the acceleration. So that's just up, to, up until this point. Now we're going to take a look at what the student has available. A timer, a meter stick, slow motion camera that takes a, a photograph every 1 60th of a second. The angle is unknown. Angle theta is unknown. The length of the incline is unknown. So which of the following could they use to determine the cart's acceleration? So the first choice, use the meter stick to measure the vertical height. So we're going to measure delta z and use the timer to record the time it takes for the cart to travel down the incline. Well, that would give us this time, but it's not giving us this x, so that can't be right. And in fact, this delta z, whatever that is, is going to be irrelevant. It's the, whole, it's the angle along the incline we need. Next, it says to use the timer to record the time it takes for the cart to travel alongside a meter stick that's attached to the incline. So we put the meter stick along the edge, and we record it at different times. Well, that's going to give us x's, and that's going to give us t's. So that looks like that's correct. The next one, use the slow motion camera to film the car as it rolls down the incline alongside a meter stick. So we have the meter stick in place and now we're going to film it. And we know each frame is 1 60th of a second. So this is just like video analysis in Pivot or another video analysis program. So it looks like that's the right answer. We look at the last choice, slow motion camera to film the car as it rolls down the incline along a timer. Well, that's going to give us time and time. We're not going to have the distance, so that one is out. So the second and the third choices.